Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I told you in my previous video after we made um, this paper suitcase, when we made this, I'm going to shoot a separate video on the embellishments. Um, I want to show you first um, this, the Traveler's Notebook that we have. I just decorated it with these. This is the front page. And then... I am going to put these prompts, so I'm going to be putting the prompts inside them. And this would be, I'm not going to make it super, super chunky. So pretty much the chunk that's, the only chunk that's going to be there are these like front page. Because if I make it any more chunky, it's not going to be able to fit in the suitcase that we created for it. So. With that in mind, I want to show you the embellishments that I made using the She Is Magic paper collection by Lizzie. So let's start with, because this, this thing is full of wonderful things, super fun stuff. Um, so let's start with this 3x6 mini album. So pretty much I just folded it and then put a pocket in the middle. Let me know. Um, I think I made a tutorial um, in the past using this, the, using the measurements. I'll try to link it down below. See that? So just when you open it, I just put a little bit of layered embellishments i use some vellum layered the tickets the stickers and i use the maggie homes that i hold in there i thought it needed a little bit more sentiments and then i think it would be perfect to put some pictures on here just simple and then i made this bow paper clip just a little bit more embellishments right there just layers and layers of stuff so this one would this one is begging for pictures to be put in it so that's the first one I love this flower you have to fussy cut the but you have to fussy cut the entire paper but it's so worth it i think it's super super cute next we have this i just so this is a cut apart um i fussy cut the books and then i i glued it sewed it and then i put this sticker from the maggie holmes collection and it's all good um, some layers right there. This makes me smile. Isn't it cute? So if you imagine, you're gonna put it right there. You can put it anywhere, actually. You can put it as packaging. It could be your ephemera. Um, this one is just a big flower that I cut from the paper. I was so sad that I already bought this paper when they had on they had it on sale. So I thought that was cute. Maybe it's missing an embellishment. Or maybe not. Maybe let's put a rainbow. Just to be cute. There. Here's another paper cluster. So I, I really, really used up all these tags. They're very pretty. And some of them I stitched. So I thought that was super, super cute. Some more flowers. Um, coffee cups that are my favorite. Some more flowers. That I just put... And then some vellum, and then just layers and layers of tickets. Because you can really, 
use up all this tag I don't know what it's called but I think it's super economical to be able to use that mason jar and then this mason jar has space if you want to put something in it like money like you have to really fold it so tiny so lots and lots of paper clusters this one this idea came from the snow and cocoa collection so this one is a cut apart I just stitched it I'm not very good at stitching just layered it all up and put a, a Maggie home sticker and called it good um, this is super cute too just imagine guys just put this on top of a card let's say let's say we have a plain card right like this one is a plain card with a printed paper and then put it on top and I think this is good to go just attach it to there and then put your put your sentiment inside super simple these you can use it anywhere right layer it up um, here's some more here's some more paper clusters that are the barcode of the product just layering them <clears throat> I think there was a lot of output with this project like the barcodes so look you can put it on top of a page isn't that pretty look isn't that pretty you can put it anywhere there this one is just a sticker that I haven't done anything with this one is just a stitch barcode again for the paper collection I love this paper collection I love how she used the blue and pink and yellow so beautifully and my favorite coffee cups I just wanted to share maybe this is gonna give you some sorry that, sorry about the noise my son is in the kitchen I just want to share this with you um, maybe it's gonna give you some inspiration to use your your scrap stash you know we all have those papers we I think we just need inspiration sometimes um, and we're all very creative we just need a little bit of inspiration and then we can see the products that we have in a different light isn't that so cute? Just imagine if this is your, let's say this is, um, here, I have this. I'm going to put this in another video, but just imagine if this is your suitcase and then you just decorate it with this. It's ready to go for goodies. Look. Isn't that cute? All done and decorated. Imagine that this is not brown and not very dark. Another paper cluster using the barcode. I just cut out all the barcodes from this paper collection well I initially started with this is just a sticker that I put on um, 80 pound paper so first I I got I looked at all my my paper and decided which one which paper should I fussy cut after that I took out all of the barcodes from all the papers and then set it aside this one has stitching after that that's when I started fussy cutting after I fussy cut all my elements I put it in a ziploc bag like this 
and then after that I started sewing or started stitching on the sides of some of the papers like some of these don't have stitching like some of them have and then look how pretty and this one is a ticket that I just fussy cut from the collection and I put some stitching on it and then after that I started layering I started layering them together like this because I had so many tickets started layering them switch my glue gun on and then I started putting the, the stickers and then after that I did some die cuts I did I barely did any die cuts I did a little bit of the mason jar and some coffee cups and then and then that was it it was and I still have a lot of stuff left over like I I didn't even use this die cut shapes at all because I had so much that I fussy cut so I didn't need to I kind of didn't need to do anything so like this I'm just going to oh, I'm gonna use my glue gun so I think the glue gun is quick efficient and it gets the job done right there well done and then this one I just put vellum in it stitch the vellum and then I can decorate the back with this if I want to yeah let's do that so the front part has a vellum and the back part has a paper cluster I think the paper cluster is very economical and I think the stitching makes it so much cuter and you can make it flat it doesn't have to be super dimensional um, look at that guys all done and then you can put your photo here and put your journaling on the bottom uh yeah so i think i think we did very well when it comes to being productive based on what you have you know using up the barcode and putting some stitching i think really adds to it I have some of these left over that I haven't used up yet. These are also leftovers that are not attached to anything. The cat as well. Um, but I thought I wanted to share with you guys um, what I have. And I, I hope that I hope that this inspired you to use your scrap stash. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Anytime I will be um, answering your comments as soon as I see them or as soon as I can. Uh, yeah, super cute. So anyway, almost done. Three more tickets. This is what I have left in the bag. So really, this is a full, a, a, you know, a paper suitcase full of embellishments that we have we have made embellishments tags layers and layers of crafty goodness anyway i hope that inspired you guys um i hope you have a wonderful crafty day stay crafty take care and i hope you had a wonderful time checking out these things that we made for our for our traveler's notebook right here um, all right, this is Christian signing off. Have a, have a wonderful crafty day. Take care, guys. I hope you can consider subscribing and liking this video. Take care and bye.